Today we're going to tell the story of the three little pigs. Are you ready? All right, let's go. If you know it, feel free to come tell it with me. It's lots of fun. Once upon a time, there were one, two, three little pigs, and they lived at home with their parents, and they ate all their healthy foods, and they slept all night in their uh, beds, and they did lots of exercising and running around, and they grew bigger and bigger and bigger. And one day their parents said to them, oh, now it's time for you to go out into the forest and build a house of your own. But there is a wolf that lives in the forest. So when you build your house, make sure you look for things that will keep you strong and safe. And the three little pigs said, okay, we'll do that. Bye-bye. And off they went into the forest. And they walked 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 until, oh my goodness, there was a big pile of straw. The first little pig was tired from all that walking and said, hmm, I think if I take this straw and I squish it together, I will build myself a nice strong house of straw. So that's what the piggy did. Spent all day picking up straw and stacking it and stacking it and squishing it and squishing it on top till there was a nice big house of straw. The other two pigs did not think that that straw was strong enough. They thought they needed to keep looking. So they walked and 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 they walked until, oh my goodness, there was a big pile of sticks. And the second little pig, he was now getting tired too. And he picked up that stick and said, no, this is pretty hard. It's kind of strong. It's better than the straw. I'm going to build myself a better house than my brother. So he took the sticks and he took stacked and stacked and stacked and tied them together and built himself a nice house of sticks. So there's one piggy in the house of straw, one piggy in the house of sticks, and one piggy that didn't think either one of those were strong enough. He thought he should keep on looking. And he walked 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 until, oh my goodness, there was a big pile of bricks in the middle of the forest. The little pig picked up the brick, knocked on it, ooh, Oh, it's hard, and oh, they're heavy. I bet I can build myself a really strong house of bricks. So the third little pig spent all day picking up bricks and carrying them over and stacking them and using uh, cement to stick them all together and built himself a nice, big, strong house of bricks. And because his house was made of bricks, he was able to give himself a chimney and a fireplace inside. And after all of that looking around and building a house, he was hungry. So he went outside and he picked some vegetables and put them in a big pot with some water and put it in the fireplace. And now there's one, two, three piggies all nice and happy in their new homes. When, who comes along? Oh, it's the big bad wolf and he says, I smell piggies, and he knocks on the door. Little pig, little pig, let me in. And the piggy says, not by the hair on my chin and chin chin. And the wolf says, then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house down. And the wolf huffs, and he puffs, and he blows the house down. And the piggy says, ah, oh no, oh no, brother, brother, hurry, hurry. I was not strong enough. I should have kept on looking. Oh my goodness, I'm so tired. That was so much. So now there are two little piggies in the house of sticks and one little piggy in the house of bricks. And then who comes along again? But the big bad wolf. And he says, Oh, he says, I smell piggies. Oh, look, the wolf is in double form. Call the dog. Jolly, come here. Go. Jolly. And he, he says, I smell piggies. And he knocks on the door. Little pig, little pig, let me in. And the piggies say, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. And the wolf huffs, help me blow it. And he puffs. And he blows the house down. And now the two piggies go, ah, oh no, oh no, brother, brother, hurry, hurry, let me in, let me in. The wolf blew my house down and ran to brother's house and the wolf blew my, our house down. And all of them are knocked down and oh my goodness, we should have kept looking, they weren't so good. And I'm so tired. Oh my goodness.
my goodness. So now there are one, two, three little piggies, all safe in this house of bricks. And that soup has been cooking all day. So they are almost ready for soup. But before they get to their soup, who comes along? That's right, Mr. Wolf. And the wolf says, I smell piggies. And he knocks on the door. Little pig, little pig, let me in. And the piggies say, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff. And I'll puff, and I'll blow your house down. And he huffs, and he puffs, and he huffs and he puffs. Help me huff and puff, blow. Blow the house down. And the house does not blow down. Those bricks are so strong. Good job, third little piggy. But now that wolf is angry and he's so tired from all of that trying to blow the house down Urgh! and he says i smell something too and he's mad and he jumps up on the roof and he slides down the chimney now this is just in the story we do not slide down chimneys we don't play in there at the bottom is fire and fire is very hot so we don't touch it and we don't play in chimneys but for the story the wolf goes down the chimney and he squishes Slide, 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 and his tail touches that hot pot of soup. And what happens when you touch something hot? It hurts and burns. And the wolf says, Ow! And he runs so, so, so far away. And he never comes back to the three little piggies' house again. So now there are one, two, three little piggies safe and sound in their nice house of bricks, eating soup for dinner. The end. I hope you enjoyed my story. Until next time, bye-bye.